Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. So, Japan releases a fully functioning female robot. She can do everything that you could possibly want and more. She would be your fantasy and your fantasy wife. She cooks and cleans and says nice things. Uh, at a starting price of $345,000, goes all the way up to a million. Typically with customization, so it's not available to the general public or the general man. Well, one piece of the puzzle is that the robot can see. Oh, well, you know, you all take it for granted that a robot can see, but the thing is, uh, most robots that you know of cannot see at all. They don't even have the faculty to see, nor can they translate any uh, outside sources uh, to actually interpret what they are seeing if they did have cameras to uh, on, on the actual robot. So here's the innovation, and I'm trying to explain this to you. So... Uh, the, here, the technology is that the robot can see. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I can't see. <laughs> I can't see because because there's huge lights just flashing and I'm well, not flashing, but uh, in my eyes. Is that the camera? Okay. So uh, the robot has mounted cameras, and the robot sees objects now of course uh the robot can be of course programmed to say this is my dear human husband's house am i cricket by the way people make comments oh your room's dirty my room is not dirty this is uh this is all my, uh, what do you call it? Uh, my, uh, poor man's version of a uh, soundproofed booth. It's not quite soundproof because that wall is still nice and flat. Which is not good, but over here we have a, over this way we have a huge curtain that sits opposite of the, of the closet. So... But for the most part, I'm digging the acoustics in here. Uh, so anyway, so the robot uh, can be programmed to know dear human husband's house layout. So the robot can walk through the house and sit down in a chair or sit down on the sofa, uh, lay on the bed. Uh, but now, you know, now the robot can actually see objects. And what do you think? What do you think these objects uh, will be? Uh, the robot will do with these objects: cook, clean, uh, put them away, organize. Uh, this is the translation that the robot receives from outside sources in the environment to actually be able to pick up something, uh, see what it is, identify it, and then say, this is a shoe. What do I do with a shoe? I have a shoe. Let me take the shoe and put the shoe, uh, uh, in, for Japan, at the beginning of the, uh, at the front door. Uh, this is a toy. What do I do with the toy? I go put it in the toy box. This is a, uh, this is bacon. What do I do with bacon? Either I put it in the fridge or I cook it. <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, uh, it. You all can literally type in everything that I say into Google and uh, eventually you'll find what I said. So please stop it with a, this is a troll, blah, blah, blah. You can't be, blah. you're making that stuff up. He's not uh, I went on to, uh, I went on to S Scope, what, what is it called? What's the website that you have? 
super liberal website that uh, that says whether stuff is true or false. Come to find out that uh, <laughs> that, that they're actually uh, super democratic. I'm not. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that a lot of stuff that they say is uh, is f actually false is actually provably demonstrably true uh, because it actually came out in like 50 periodicals around the entire planet so this you can so the technology is that the robot can see and it can pick up the stuff and it can translate what the stuff is and uh, uh, of course then that means it can cook uh, it can clean depending on what the thing is so now the robot can open the fridge uh, you need to search for the bacon. Uh, I've put the bacon in the fridge when I got home, uh, dearie. Uh, you need to cook the bacon. Okay, I'm searching for bacon. I've opened up the fridge. I look on all the shelves. Oh, it must be in the drawer. Open the drawer. There's the bacon. Take the bacon out. Uh, close the drawer. Close the fridge and proceed over and place the bacon on the counter now we grab look search for a frying pan uh and then uh, right please stop saying that uh, uh because you haven't seen it in mainstream media that it doesn't exist have you heard of black ops thank you all for watching and I, i'm still trying to uh make this journey over to asia if you want to donate to this journey to Asia to get f actual footage, uh, I'm saying that it's going to take uh, $50,000 for a documentary. For a lot of you all, you all go, oh my God, $50,000 for a documentary. How, how much do movies cost that you go see? How much does uh, the, the chubby guy, what's his name? What's the what's the guy's name? What's the what's the guy's name? He makes documentaries all the time. He makes oodles and millions, 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 and he spends millions, millions, millions. Oh, what is his name? He he uh, uh, he, he did the uh, bowl, bowling for Com Columbine documentary. Why can't I think of his name? I must need more vitamin B. Uh, <laughs> vitamin B, I. Uh, I've uh, started taking vitamin B and I uh, hold off from taking vitamin B because the vitamin B makes me uh, I'll have lots of energy, which translates into uh, Shikama not sleeping. So Shikama uh, avoids taking vitamin B, although I know it's fantastic for me. And uh, men should take vitamin B, by the way. Uh, I, uh, and, and please don't say, well, I'm a woman and women need vitamin B. No, it does something completely different to men uh, because there is a difference. Okay, so if you want to donate, go to paypal.me slash shikama. Write a note. This is for the documentary. I'm, I'm estimating $50,000 to hire a crew, to get all of the uh, transportation, uh, to, uh, to lease the equipment, uh, and to pay off any people that I... <laughs> and to get a getting it professionally edited and all that sort of stuff and i wanted to do live streaming every day in in asia now i spoke with somebody the other day and he was like uh you be careful because uh china mm, mm, I'm, i don't know i don't know if you traipsing around the countryside in china that you won't uh uh, up and disappear but i do want to do the documentary about the robots i know that they're manufactured in china and japan but uh, i also want to go to china to see the real real stuff china uh, has a stance that they are to be number one in the world now forbes magazine new york times Wall Street Journal has acknowledged in various articles that, in fact, China is, in fact, ahead of the United States in technology. Go search that on the web. Go Google that. China is ahead of the United States in technology. So it stands to reason all of the information that I look up, that I get about these robots, has to be true and 
the fact that it doesn't exist or they're they don't have it into one entity they have a bits and pieces here oh, oh <laughs> we made a we made a robot clean up a room. Oh, we made a robot cook a three-star meal. Oh, we made a robot uh, uh, do push-ups. The fact that that's all the United States has speaks nothing about the truthfulness of the Chinese technology or the Japanese technology. The, the Japanese robotics and Chinese robotics are light years ahead of the United States or any Western country for that matter. Why? Because their entire government and their tax money can go be put behind it. I just read another thing where some new company came out and China uh, backed it with millions and millions, of, I think billions of uh, yuan, right? There you have it. Uh, coming to a theater you, near you, the documentary that will knock your socks off, Shikama's documentary about robotics in Asia. And I will go all through Asia, anywhere that I uh, get a lead as to a manufacturer of robotics in Asia. That includes all the, you know, uh, w w what is it? Philippines, uh, South Korea, uh, uh, the, the other places that I can't name. <laughs> Japan, Japan. Uh, I, I swear I can actually name the countries on a map. Anyway, new technology out. Robot can see, can translate and interpret uh, the stuff that it sees uh, into its and puts it into its database and determines what it's going to do with it, including cooking and cleaning and tidying up. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe. Thank you.